Hey fam, welcome and a welcome back. Today I'm giving you a video of me taking my hair down. Just got out the shower, so I'm taking off my shower bonnet and this hair holder thing that I had on today. I haven't put any oil in my hair since I did it, and I've had this style in for about a week and a half to two weeks, so my scalp is really dry and pretty itchy. Here's a closer look of the style and my roots. I did a soft retwist on the roots, putting my hair into twist at the top and rubber banding it. Then I put lock knots on each individual lock. I was going for an Edna mold type bob, but I wanted to keep two long antennas in the front. The product that I currently use is Jamaica Mango and Lime Island Oil. This is my first bottle of this oil, but I've been a fan of their products for a while. They're pretty good at not having harsh chemicals in them. So I'm just gonna keep my hands oiled up as I take my hair down just to be sure that I get oil on all of my hair and that I'm avoiding any unnecessary damage. I start at the bottom with my lock knots. There's a rubber band on each of the lock knots and a rubber band at the end of the twists near my roots. Anyways, once I got the rubber band off the lock knot, I just find the end of the lock and kind of pull it in a downwards motion. Not too hard though, because I don't want to flatten out the curl, but just enough to get it to unwind. Now, for the rubber band that's holding the soft retwist in place, I just try to get under the rubber band and pull it straight down if I can. Most of these are just going to end up popping on me. Then I separate. Easy, right? Except I have the rest of my head to go. This is what my roots look like. The soft retwist held pretty well. I should have got a comb to help me get a grip on the rubber bands, but I'm too lazy to get one now. I recently took my nails off and so I have a pretty brittle nail bed right now and shorter nails that can't really get a good grip on the rubber bands. I used to have a tool that I could slide in between my hair and the rubber band that had like a small blade to cut the rubber band off, but my dumb dumb self used it to open a package and I broke it. So now we're here. I got the front out, ugh, still pretty itchy. Now I'll start working on one side at a time. I try to go from the front of my head to the back, working with the ones underneath first. This helps me make sure I don't miss any as I work my way around. Ooh, get into that curl. At the top of the curl, it has a bit of an angle. That's just because I bent the lock to twist it around itself. This isn't a big deal to me, to be honest. I'll speed this part up. It's pretty repetitive. I'm just taking them down one at a time and then getting my roots down.
So this entire side is down now. These are what the curls look like all together. I like the curly bob look that it gives me with this cute little bounce. I'm gonna take the other side down off camera and meet back with you with the final product. If you can't tell by my face, I am fed up and want to be done. Head still itching and got a few of these bad boys left. I'm so close to being done. I've been getting a little rough with these rubber bands and pulling these curls. Okay, speed it up, Chels. Ooh, yes, stop. Uh, all done taking them all out. I'm just running my hands through to check that I didn't miss any. I'm gathering all the rubber bands I took out now. A lot of them popped around the room, so I have to get those later. These are the majority of the ones I took out. And now that they're out, it looks like a lot. Just separating a few of them. Now it's time to oil this dry scalp. <sighs> Back at it again with the island oil. I just run the tip between my parts. I'm not really precise with this. I just try to focus on the spots that I know are super dry. You can see this scalp massage feels good. I rub the oil into my scalp. I don't really mind that I cause some frizziness. As long as I don't have many froze around my roots, I'm good. I put oil on my hands and run it over the rest of my locks. I'm finished finished now I want to keep these in for about a week or so if I can knowing me I'll wear it up most of the time to keep them out of my way but they're super cute and I like the final product
Mm. My forehead feels like I slicked some butter on it. Uh, I'm trying it with that bounce. <laughs> These curls are so tight and they refuse to move. But here is a back view. Most of them came out around the same length. Ooh, peep the over the shoulder look. Y'all, I am exhausted. It's actually late at night and I'm about ready for bed. Time for my trust the dusty nighttime bonnet. I'm putting my hair up extra high because I'm sleeping on my back right now. I usually sleep on my side, but I got six new piercings four on one side and two on the other and so it's pretty painful for me to sleep on either side side note this bonnet is clutch my hair is very heavy and most bonnets slide right off this one puts up a fight i tie it tight and it stays on most of the time Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more. Bye!